today was to set up a community cleanup fun day. Um, traditionally, the area collectively known as Meadowsweet consists of three estates Pennyroyal Grove, Honeysuckle Lane, and Foxglove Close, along with houses from Knightstone Housing and Bristol City Council. And we, uh, we started doing this last year because traditionally, the area um, was a high priority neighbourhood. A um, lot of crime, a lot of nuisance behaviour, a lot of troubles going on here. So myself, uh, Vish from our nuisance prevention team, started working on the area with the residents, with Lindsay Wall from Bristol City Council. We set up a litter pick, provided some skips, and um, then set up a bouncy castle face painter, something to get the community together. This year, we've given more responsibility to the residents. So we met with the residents beforehand. We set up a planning group of any residents that wanted to be involved. They take the lead. They take on responsibilities, certain tasks that they can do, whether or not they wanted to do uh, taking care of the food, um, planning the day, what activities would work for kids. So that's what we've done this year. And uh, yeah, it's been an ongoing process. We've had regular progress meetings with residents and with um, Bristol City Council and the police. We wanted to make sure that police were involved because they've been, they've been working with us from day one. They've been a massive source of support because they know the history of the scheme. They've had, they know a lot of people on the scheme yeah, yeah. and they know all the changes that need to be made. So they've, from day one, they've been with us. From last year, they were with us on the cleanup day. Outstanding support. And we asked this year if the fire service started to be involved to come down to, to be part of the community and they've done that for us. It's been fantastic. A couple of years ago there was lots of issues in the neighbourhood. Um, lots of teenage issues, lots of crime. Um, uh, at one point there was probably over 120 calls to the police within a six month period and, and you know, we worked well with the police um, and came up here and worked well with the council. Eventually got, you know, residents uh, working together and coming together on meetings and today here we are having a barbecue. But it is nice to have a fun day like this. People get to know other people. Uh, like I, I know a few more of the older ladies and that as well. Um, and you do tend to recognise faces once you've spoken to somebody. You tend to, if you see them on the street or that, you speak to them afterwards, don't you, you know, and say hi and that. But I think it's nice also for the older people that don't get out that they can just pop near and have a chat with somebody, whereas they might not see anybody all week or, you know. But um, we're all coming together, the Nightstone tenants and the council tenants, and we're going to have one big, rather than us having separate meetings and stuff, we're all going, we're going to amalgamate so we can do things together. Like we've got a trip coming up to Barry Island. We're all going together, so we're going, that's how we're going to start. We're going to have a bank account that we can meet for occasions like this and things. I think everyone enjoyed it, and it's beginning, you're beginning to you know, friendly with more people from last year. Then now they find out we're not, you know, old fogies here. <laughs> they know that we're we're quite happy to, you know, mix. Well, I'm I'm just sat here now, and, and um, two people have kind of come out of um, out of their flat with big smiles on their faces, and um, and and just saying how they've enjoyed the day, and. Um, I think when, when you see that, you know that it is about be feeling happy. It is about knowing that all the talk sometimes has got somewhere. The area has improved dramatically since we all started working together on the estates. Nuisance uh, cases have dropped, crime has dropped. There was, uh, there is now a better sense of community uh, in the area. I'm lucky enough because I can walk down this street and uh, people know me, they can come out and talk to me. I know people on a first name basis. So that works, you know, that, that makes it better for everyone. 
We've, we've done other uh, community events uh, which are all fantastic in themselves. I think this one today is an example of elderly, uh, small children, adults uh, all together um, uh, and, uh, and it's just looking at people meeting each other and, and knowing that tomorrow and next week they'll be able to walk down the, the street and say hello to each other um, or help each other do something that, that they may uh, want to do, um, that, that, that's a, a good thing to know.